What's up, guys? Pittsburgh Weishwart's back again with yet another Deck Tech. I'm joined today by Tyler and Brian. Hello, I'm here. Hello. And we're going to go over the Sword Art Online Alicization only, the Fluctlight deck. Uh, this is pretty similar to the build that I think most people are talking about, the build that Riaz brought to the Weishwart's Invitational. Uh, Tyler's similar. played it a lot. Yeah. And um, Brian has played into it a lot. This is true. Uh, you know, being brothers and all. Mm -hmm. So, all right, let's jump right into it at zero. Um, so the first thing we got here, we have sort of like our like two big plusing zeros, right? We have the to the cave to the north, Alice, the Ricky, and then the with pride Cardinal. And the yeah, yeah, and the Cardinal, yeah. Well, the brainstorm's a plusing zero too, but mm. yeah. So um, the Ricky is pretty interesting, Tyler. How has this uh, felt? play because you um when it hits grave you have to pay one you look at three you choose one to go to clock and then you I salvage think it, i think with being a search a uh a salvage instead of a search is a lot better it helps you just consistently get the level one combo every time yeah because like you're putting extra targets into grave and then you also get to like Mm -hmm. Choose the card that enters clock, so you don't get like. Yeah, it's over. also a color fix if you're missing some type of color too. Yeah, that's that's the other thing I've seen playing into this is this card makes it very easy to find your uh, your red fix for your demon sword event. Mm, yeah, because you can always find like a red card to go to clock. Mm -hmm. Yeah, either in what you draw or in these top three cards. But yeah, that's cool. And then the other one, the JC. So this profile isn't in. English a lot. This one's a weird one, though. The With Pride Cardinal. So it sits at 3k if you're playing the game. And then when your other character is, is frontal attacked, that card goes to clock. So... This this card goes to clock, yeah. Yeah, card. that's weird. I mean, it still denies two lanes, right, if they misorder their attacks. Yeah, yeah. it denies two reverses. Mm -hmm. How's that felt as you've played it? Uh, I've never successfully uh done a like a double lane denial. like a like a double lane kind of thing i missed misplayed against uh carmen with it oh yeah you did you told me about that but other than that that's the closest i've been i haven't actually successfully done that yet i just yeah. use it as a, as a 3k uh, uh 3k oversize and that's pretty much it well the other thing is like like jc's typically they only shroud one lane because they, you front that, and then it doesn't matter. People usually attack the JC first. Yeah, so. yeah. But it doesn't matter. You still get value. You still get the plus there. Oh, no. I popped out of present mode. Oh, well. Um, and then we just got the brainstorm to search brainstorm, and then if you have a level 5 or higher experience, gets an extra 500 power to front. It's I feel like, I feel like, I feel like it should be global. Yeah. Like the, I hate that second effect. So yeah. Easy, yeah. <laughs> it would be too strong if it was just a 500 assist to front, right? Uh, that's um yeah, level five experience for that frontal five hundred very useful. Yeah, Sword Art in English finally gets a uh, self rest brainstorm, and it's this. and it's just a brainstorm. <laughs> it's, it's, it's this, yeah. Yeah, kind of feels bad, but yeah, it's good for the deck. I mean, it's blue. You're uh, you're mostly blue green, blue green yellow, but, like not really yellow. No, no yellow, just just yellow in zero, red. Just the utility zeros, yeah. Moving into our next set of zeros here, we got the Lifeline Chains Alice. So this is the Rumia profile, which is this is not the first one in English. Thought it would be, but uh, Fujimi uh, beat it to the mm -hmm. punch, I believe. Or was this before Fujimi? I can't uh, remember this, this English was, this schedules. Was first. This was first. this was first. Okay. Yeah, this was February. Fujimi was after that. Okay. Uh, yeah. But then most people call this the Rumia profile. It's instead of pay one ditch card, it's pay one ditch character. But then you check four instead of three, and you add any card. Just make sure you get your climax. Uh, grab your gram. You need one in hand, right? Yeah, I assume yeah. that's how it plays out. Yeah, it's looking for. I've used it for looking for the finisher climax. I've used it for looking for UGOs to be able to ditch with the uh, the Kirito, so I can put it under as a marker. Mm -hmm. uh, getting level one combo, even. For yeah, like turn just like two or something. Grabbing yeah, more. These, these utility zeros seem to help a lot with the consistency of the deck. Yeah. Hmm. Like this, like this deck, especially with this card, like very rarely misses level one combo. 
because this can dig into the climax. And you have the bonder available, which we'll talk about. Which I yeah. guess, speaking of green cards, we have this 4K for Cooley. Um, pretty simple 4K, no events or backups. How does that play in with Graham? You ever, uh, you ever ran into that before, or like? Nope, I've, n I've never run into okay. that. Okay, I mean that's pretty fringe, but yeah, yeah. I figured but I would ask. He he's just so strong because nobody runs bombs anymore. Yeah, it's like just Bang Dream, right? It's like mm -hmm. in English. Uh, yeah, those are the only people running like bombs right now. So, like ru like running into this deck and trying a bunch of a bunch of my decks into this i just i can't deal with this thing at level zero it's too strong i don't play bombs in any of my decks yeah you have to slam a climax to, to, <laughs> I, I, to I, with them. you have to play an oversize and slam a climax to even hit over a tie with this thing it's ridiculous yeah especially at our local meta where um i guess people are just starting to play bang dream again since the new stuff came out but like typically not a lot of bombs around but I guess, like, at a big regional, right, you'd expect to see more Bang Dream, more Hagami Bombs. That's probably the most popular one. Yeah, hmm. yeah, probably. But, I mean, but still, it's a 4K. It's fine. Yeah. yeah. That, that, With the Chaser one. running around, these are better positioned than ever. I mean, Bang, yeah. Dream, Bang Dream's one matchup, too. Mm-hmm. All right, moving on here. Moving into the level one. So, correct me if I'm wrong, this is from the Trial Deck, right? This is the yeah. Trial Deck combo? Okay, so just a Maguro. On attack, check top four, add a Fluck Light. With a book. We love book. Is this the Crystal Song, Yukina? Yeah. He, he's he's really good. He's just not 7k, but it doesn't matter because he's on attack. Yeah, yeah. he goes through your deck. It's a, it's a Magra. Yeah, I, I've tried out the Alice and the Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh is just so much better. He just keeps the deck flowing so nice. I think the Bonder puts him over the edge. And like we, no, we've but... talked about Magros a lot, so let's just move on. Yeah. So this T-Save yeah. Bonder here. The T-Save Bonder is... is the T-Save Bonder is something to talk about. <laughs> Like, she is the core of this whole deck. Like, it's so funny, because, like, this is a booster card. The bond is to the level 1 combo that we just saw. So that is to a trial deck card. So this is a card that, like, from a game design perspective, you're meant to unpack and immediately add to your trial deck to improve your trial deck. But it goes a lot farther than that, right? Because it also... <laughs> just... Like, it, the Yu-Gi-Oh's, right? The early play ones. This, yep. this shrouds those. Yeah. Doesn't yeah. shroud them, but it, it doesn't it's, shroud. It just saves them. It saves oh them. well, rest. Yeah. Okay, wait. So it this gives them a free hand on core, pretty much. Well, this is better than free hand on core because this rests them in battle step. Yep. So that so denies it, things it, like yeah, fever. It denies them Joker reverse like and Joker stuff. Reverse, yep. Yeah, that's super so Drew nasty. Is having, a, having trouble with. That's very funny. I mean, you don't see that too often. I think the only other one is uh, the two one back row support for Rem from set two rests. Oh, yep. In English? The that, yeah, the one that saves just the early play level 3. But yeah, that and the Bond. I mean, like, hitting green also at level 1, maybe a little rough. Not as bad with the Alice, right? Like, if you have, like, a Kirito or something, you just want to clock uh, at, at, from, like, 1-0 to 1-1. You can, like, use the Alice uh, Ricky to, like, level green mm -hmm. and then go from there. So, like, it's not as hard to, like, have two colors at level 1 with this deck. Yeah, I mean, I, oh. I haven't no I haven't noticed you having any issues playing into this. Have you been screwed over between mm. blue and green at level one? I mean, the har the hardest part about it is when I am exactly level up with one with oh, no okay. not with no level up in clock, and I'm just like blue or green. I oh, normally yeah. would end up either trying to search for the Ricky to try and do the Ricky to get another, or I would just have maybe something else in hand to clock. I. Okay, so you do have ways around it, but it's inconvenient. Yeah, I've run into that a couple of times, but it's not a game changer. It's just crazy to see this. Like, it's just like a 104k bonder, but it's like you run three of it because it's like a field on core. It's like just a crazy card for the deck, I think. Yeah. I think it like just puts the Mogra over the edge. Because, like, like, you know, Apocrypha still runs a Stolfo. And stuff they just kind of deal with it they like run pumps and stuff for it right. but like here it's like I, I would rather run this Maguro because there's this bonder and then the bonder also has another great effect so and speaking of yugios that we can save we have this nice functional reprint of the kirito rize from original yeah. sword art we love we love blonde kirito yeah, literally the same card yeah exactly the same card if, if you've never seen that card before it's on play you reveal the top card of your deck so long as it's a character it gains 2k and then whenever this card hits Grave, you reveal top three, uh, and then you can add a Fluctlight character and then ditch a card. So you can 
As long as you see a character, you can mill those three cards, grab it, ditch it. You don't even have to add anything. Helps filter your lane. Nice uh, character to kill bigger things with, right? Since you're going to swing in with 6-5, 7-5 five, five with Climax. You have five uh, You have five experience. Swings, it could swing in for 8k mm -hmm. with a Climax. 7k normally, so... Yeah, I guess something to note is it does whiff on the event as well. So it doesn't hit quite as often as you'd think. It can it can yeah. be at times. So the event is I feel just like, yeah. completely it's, off color and off mm -hmm. rate. It's just to reveal climaxes, so <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I, I feel like this functions more as a as a hand filter tool than anything else in the deck. Yeah, I've always just used that as hand filter, either just to get rid of too many climaxes or just just to mill through my deck if even. Well, the Kirito is still a good card, so it makes sense that this is yeah. good, too. Yeah. Moving on, uh, another green card here. There's two ones. It's a level assist. Girls of Age running Ise. Uh, the Climax swap, and then it has Act, give a Kirito Yujo 1500 power. That's, uh, that's a know, lot of know, synergistic effects. Yeah, what do you know? Most of your characters in this deck are Kirito or Yujo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that card, that card is really good. Solidifies the... Uh power for the finisher yeah the fact that the finisher is on reverse and this gives enormous power to a carry to is it, it, hel it helps uh the yugio early play just start beating down with uh, yeah. just extra extra power as well i like that it has the good synergy with book and pants where uh pants is getting you extra climaxes and book is drawing you more books so <laughs> you can make yep. sure that you have the right climax yeah Unfortunately, not an act. You have to do it on play, but still, having a climax swap in your deck and not having other good abilities on that card is uh, Actually, really never nice. Never use that uh, the climax swap with them. I feel like you have many opportunities to just get the climax anyway, but it's yeah. good insurance. It has other. Mm -hmm. um... Yeah. Whenever we talk about the UGO, I normally use him. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, because that um, does yeah. grab the climax. Yeah. So the sword have... skill administrator. Um, Little weird. First red card we've seen. It's a two one, uh, and it's a level three killer. Where if you play a climax, it gets an additional fifteen hundred power. So in your deck, that would bring it to fifteen five before any, any additional power pumps. So what's the what's the noise? What's the noise on this one? She literally is just level fodder, so you can use Graham. <laughs> just like an additional red fix for Sword Graham. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Okay. I, mean, I, I, guess I have. I've never used her. I guess she, if your opponent is building large walls, if they're playing a wall deck, maybe you try I mean, to... if you're playing a wall deck, just use Yu-Gi-Oh. He'll hit over. <laughs> I, I, I guess. I mean, with the level assist, Yu-Gi-Oh does get pretty big. Yeah. But yeah, this is uh, just sort of a red fix there for Sword Graham, which we'll talk about soon here. But first, let's talk about the finisher. Uh, so we got the Knight Colored Sky Hero, Kirito. Experience, if you got level 6 or higher... Uh, an additional 1500 power, so it sits at 11. And then when you play him to the stage from your hand, draw two. Choose a card in your hand, put it in the waiting room, so draw two, ditch one. And then you choose a Kirito's partner, Yu Gi Oh!, which is a 3 2 early play Yu Gi Oh!, put it face up underneath this card as a marker. And then climax combo is when your opponent becomes reversed. If you got the pants and climax area, you burn one, uh, then you don't have to pay for it. And then as long as you have a marker, you can pay the cost. So you get the burn one no matter what. Yep. And then, as long as you have the climax down, then you can pay two, pitch two, any card, deal three. So it's burn one, burn three, and probably a swing for three. The so three plus trigger, burn one, burn three. That's pretty nasty numbers. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. For a finisher. It works uh, pretty well. I normally have trouble of just getting double. I'm always one stock off of getting double double combo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you can set yourself up for two of these, you're in a very good spot. Yeah, two two of those, and I don't and know, maybe, bad. maybe like I, I even anything else, uh, as a third lane, probably yeah. the UGO if you have enough of them for markers as well. Yeah, and two of these, another two soul beater plus the event, I think, is like an optimal end game board state for you. Yeah, and let's look at the UGO right because I, I always put the finishers first on these deck techs, but gonna probably through this slide up first. Let's talk about the UGO. So the two or less early play on play heal. And then gets 500 power for each other reflect like character on your turn. So it's 11k on your turn, 9k cross turn. And then experience, you can sack this. As long as you have the Kirito we just saw in your level, you can grab the climax. But he turns into a sword. 
He d- he turns into a sword. Yep. Okay. Interesting. Uh, seems super solid. Like, yeah. The it, the grabbing the climax has perfect synergy with the Kirito because you want him to be in grave anyway. Yeah. Feels good. Uh, and then Kirito also draws too, so you can like draw into extra copies, and then you can throw it away. So lots yep. of like built in synergy there. Mm-hmm the combo like you can have the UGOs in hand or they can be in your grave or like on your field you have ways to like set them up yeah and when I was first play testing the alicization I was running into the issue where UGO would come in kill something then immediately get swung back and die Tisa solves that all, all, all together some people yeah. just dodge it because they don't want to just they don't want to deal with Tisa or they just swing into it and I save him he yeah. lives at least another turn yeah the fact that this lives again swing again despite being small and then gets to swing big again on offense yeah. is like really good i mean even the fact that it gets to live again and sack itself to get the climax for your finisher if you hit level three in the meantime yeah it's, it's extremely relevant yeah i mean like what you go like minus one to just to grab to climax and that's totally fine yeah that's completely worth it especially because the characters can trip yeah super cool I, I really like that interaction i think like that's like the this like whole early play to level three package is like the reason to play Alicization. Mm-hmm. And a big way you're able to get that off is this event, Demonic Sword Graham. This you can get this in re edit, or you can get this in uh, I believe like Sal Extra Boosters. What one of the old ones? Yeah, you can get it from re edit, it's an uncommon. Um it's probably went up a little bit since Rio started playing the deck on uh White Shorts Invitationals. But okay, so not yet. But so you give one of your characters 3k, and global, your opponent just can't play events or backups. They just like, straight up can't in any lane. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Yeah. No uh, lane. Yeah. For one it's stock. so stupid. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, and like, you're doing the classic, this is like the, um, the fate mentality, right? It's like, I don't want to run any red cards, but I want to play this 2-1 free fresh, right? And it's just the same thing here, you just run, run four <laughs> grams. And because you're running this level 2 that you want to level anyway, right? You get to do the level 1, level 2, level of 3. As opposed to, like, leveling 2 level 3s. Which always kind of feels kind of bad. Like, yeah. especially playing yeah. ReZero. Like, setting up for Reinhardt. Like, ideally you would want to level extra, like, counters or things of that nature. Um, right, yeah. Since you're looking for red, you have, you know, th- this event or the administrator level three killer that we just looked at, and they're all they're all level two, so they they assist you in hitting your experience quota there. Mm-hmm. And I, I assume Brian, based on your immediate reaction to this card, uh, it, it works as intended. It works completely as intended. I can vouch for that. <laughs> yeah, um... you feel you feel so helpless when you're set up to, you know, to counter something, to anti change something, or whatever. Because this even this even blocks anti change. You can play this yeah. level two, and you can stop them from anti changing your UGO or whatever. Three K is a lot. Like two one for this effect is like actually totally fine. I remember Connor talking about this card a long time ago with Alicization. Um, but Riaz is the one who brought it to life, and mm-hmm. uh, now now everybody's doing it. But yeah, no super cool interaction with the uh, Kirito. Just make sure he gets his reverse. Sort of removes the biggest liability of the card. Looking at the whole list laid out here, um, I, I, this list is really clean. I like this a lot. Honestly, really good. I think the only thing that I would even consider is because like you're leveling the 2-1 anyway, I would run the drop search. Or the drop salvage. The administrator drop salvage instead, drop maybe. Salvage. That's like the only thing looking at the list that I think anyone should consider changing the rest of it looks like rock solid mm-hmm. it's very simple does what it wants to do um depending on your meta maybe you run more jc instead of the bird Coolie, like 4k but it's more than enough green you're never going to have issues with your colors really just going to clock the first red you see and call it a day yeah, yeah nor- normally what i do is like level one i would clock the uh the level three kirito the finisher Mm-hmm. Uh, and then level two, I'd start clocking. I'd try and find red to, to clock. Clock Graham. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. Because, like, you'll probably incidentally have green at that point. Yeah, yeah. Because normally I'd end, up, I'd end up clocking Bakuli or just running into the uh, the uh, the Cardinal. Yeah. 
having the cardinal after you've hit level one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, aside from playing for color, you do want to level that Kirito, the level the finisher, as soon as possible, just so you can meet your uh, combo condition for the Yu-Gi-Oh that uh, salvages the climax. What I really like about the Magro and the Tise is you can be in these situations where we've all been there. It's like with ReZero, like Brian, I'm sure, or like any deck that's running Magro, mm-hmm. right? Where you ate a lot of damage, and you're like, you're like 1-3, you're 1-4. And you're going for your Magros, and you're like, hmm, I really don't want to, like, mill out, because I can't get through the whole rest of my deck. Yeah. But I'm going to mill as little as possible, and, like, then get into another Climax, because you have this Rumia, and then you can save your Yu-Gi-Ohs, your 1-0 Yu-Gi-Ohs, and then, like, you can combo again, and mill. you have Mill Engine again. You can, like, double mill out, and, like, maybe get some first deck cancels, if you get into those unfortunate spots. It, like, gives you options. Yeah. I really like that. But yeah, it looks super solid. Um, I wish that uh, I would have like grabbed a lot of this stuff while it was mm-hmm. even cheaper than it is because deck, uh, this deck looks pretty fun. Yeah, I mean, they, they just announced Dialysization 2, though, too. This can only get better. Yeah, I'm sure, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure that won't help the current prices. But yeah, who knows? Like, So like, um, I guess that's a good topic. Uh, Dialysization Volume 2 was just announced in JP. I'm sure we'll get it in English. We get everything in Sal that's not 10th anniversary because uh, people in NA don't read light novels <laughs> or something. I don't know what their thought process is. I mean, we, we got, we got Fujimi. Yeah, we did get Fujimi. That's true. I guess I shouldn't say, go that far. Um, so, like, Tyler, you played the deck a lot. Like, Brian, you played into it. What do you think, mm-hmm. like, would slot right into this deck? Like, what's the, what's the weak point? Like, what, what would you be hoping for to update this shell specifically? What does it need? Maybe it, I mean, it's, it's got really good tools. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what would push it over the edge. Uh, I don't know, like, a, a brainstormer with a more relevant. Yeah, a better brainstorm. brainstorm. Like, a more relevant, well, and you, you mill your grave a lot, so I think you'd, um, Maybe a, you mill, maybe yeah, a salvage, salvage brainstorm, brainstorm would be better. Yeah, a salvage brainstorm and maybe a uh, an anti change option that wasn't in a color that you're not playing. Um, yeah, would help a little bit. Because I think the the only other option Alicization has is a like it's a, a waiting ditch, room anti change. Yeah, ditch two waiting room. We'll probably get long. like a good bit of green since like Leafa's like pretty important. Yeah, and there's then Leafa, season, there's Bukuli. Yeah. Uh, my, my boy Broccoli. Yeah. I guess I guess more Ronnie and Tise. Yeah. So we'll we'll stand to like get some green cards that might be good. So. Yeah, we'll maybe the other goes. Imperial Knights too. I'm not sure. Yeah. Who knows? But yeah, it looks super solid. Looks really fun. I'm glad that this sort of list was developed. So Alicization like actually can actually some play. function. <laughs> yeah. Can yeah. actually see play. So. All right. Uh, just to wrap it up, won't spend as much time as we do on this as always, but here's all the links to all the discords and stuff. I'm not going to go over them this time because we're already kind of running over on this video. Uh, speaking of other things we're recording, Overlord, we're recording that like right now. We're still working on that. And then we have Konosuba Legend of Crimson coming up. Rush Rundowns, Mondays, Wednesdays, deck text just like this on Fridays. Three days guaranteed content a week. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Let us know. Do the YouTube thing uh, if you want to catch our content. And with that, I think we're done. You guys got anything else? We good? That's it. We're good. That's it. All right. We'll see you guys in the next one.